This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create some simple isometric text using the isometric tool in Affinity Designer. So we'll go ahead and get started here in Designer. The first thing I want to do is put some text on the canvas that I want to apply this effect to. So let me grab the text tool over here and click on the canvas. And I'm just going to write for this tutorial, I'm going to write the word isometric text, but obviously you could type whatever you'd like. Now what I want to do is change the font and the spacing between the letters. So let me select all of the text by pressing Control A, and I'm going to change the font up here. You can use whatever font you'd like. For this lesson, I'll be using League Gothic. And I want to put a lot of spacing between those letters. So I'm going to hold Alt on the keyboard and use the right arrow key to put some spacing between those letters. And you have to have the text selected like I have here in order for this to work. So press Control A if it's not selected. And now I want to put some space between the words. So I'm going to hold Alt and press down on the arrow key like that. And then finally, I just want to align this text to the center, just like that. And now what we can do is we can go to Layer and Convert to Curves. So that's no longer a text object. Those are now curves. So what I will do next is open the uh, Grid and Axis Manager uh, to put some isometric uh, put an isometric grid on the canvas here. So we'll come over here to where it says View. We're looking for Grid and Axis Manager. And from this window, I'm looking for Advanced right here. And uh, I will set this to, where this says Grid Type, I will set that to Isometric. And I will show Grid so that it, it appears on the canvas there. You can see we have an isometric grid there. And then finally, what we want to do is click on this button right here that says Create Plane Set. Okay, and that's going to open this isometric tool up here. And what this does, this is really handy. What you can do with this, you can select your object and then decide where you'd like to place your object on the isometric plane, whether it be the front, the side, or the top. Let me show you real quick how that works. If you notice, as I select these different sides, the grid on the page is changing. So let me first select front, and I'm going to click on Fit to Plane. You can see it puts it on that front isometric plane. If I click side and then click fit to plane, it puts it on the side. Okay, for this lesson, I want to put it on the top. So I'm going to click on top and then fit it to the plane right there. And that, that's what I'm looking for right there. Once you've done that, you could turn off the grid if you'd like to. We don't need that anymore. We can close out of this. We don't need that anymore. And we have our isometric text. All we have to do now is extrude this a little bit to make it look three-dimensional. So to do that, let me zoom in on this first. I'm going to hold control and roll up the mouse wheel a few times to zoom in. And I want to zoom in a lot, actually. I want to zoom in on this corner right here. And what I want to do is I want to create a copy of this. So I have the object selected here. Make sure you have your object selected. You'll know you have it selected when you see this blue bounding box going around it. Let me zoom in a little more. And once you have it selected, hold Alt on the keyboard and then click and drag to create a copy of it. And then hold Shift to lock it onto the vertical axis like that. And I want to take this copy and put it slightly above the original copy. Maybe about that much. Now let me zoom out by holding control and rolling down the mouse wheel. Basically what I want to do now is just repeat that process over and over again. So I'm going to press control J on the keyboard. And I'm going to keep pressing control J to keep extruding that text to give it a three dimensional appearance like that. Okay, now once you're happy with how it looks, you can stop and you could take that top copy and make it a lighter color like that. And there you go, there is your 3D isometric text. Okay, so now if you want to change the spacing between these letters, if you want to put them closer together, what you could do is you can click and drag over all of them and you can ungroup them by going to Layer, Ungroup All. And now you can click and drag over just these letters right here. And if you want, you can group them together by going to Layer, Group. Or you could use the keyboard shortcut, which is Control G, which would be easier if you're going to keep doing this with all these other letters. And let me zoom in a little over here. And then you could just move this over. You could hold Shift while clicking and dragging to move this over closer to the other letter. Now if you notice, this is layered beneath this letter, so let me just raise this to the top. To raise this to the top, keyboard shortcut here, Control, Shift, and the right bracket key. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing over here. First, I want to group these letters together, Control, G. It might be easier to go through and group them all together first, so I'm just going to go through, select all of them, and press Control, G to group them together. And there we go. Now I could take these two and bring these over here like this. Again, we're holding shift when we click and drag this to lock it onto that uh, isometric plane like that. And then raise it to the top. Control, shift, right bracket key. Same thing over here. Move this over. Control, shift, right bracket key. And I'm pretty sure you get the idea now. You can just go through and do this. 
And there you go. That's how you can take those letters and put them closer together like that. Personally, I think it looked better before with the letters spaced out, but I just wanted to show you how to do that in case you want to change the spacing between your letters. So I think that should do it for this tutorial. That's how you can go about creating this simple isometric text using Affinity Designer. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.